Imagine a time, post-World War II, when the world was bifurcated into two ideological factions. This was the backdrop in 1954 when the Geneva Conference concluded, a conference that would split Vietnam into two distinct territories. To the north, a land steeped in communism, led by the indomitable Ho Chi Minh. The south, however, found itself under the rule of Ngo Dinh Diem, a man who cast his lot with capitalism. The fracture was stark, the ideologies poles apart. North Vietnam, fueled by the fiery passion of communism, held a vision of a unified socialist Vietnam. In contrast, South Vietnam, under Diem's presidency, clung to capitalist ideals, envisioning a free market society. These were not just territorial disputes, but ideological battles, battles of beliefs and principles that would shape the future of Vietnam. This ideological discord set the stage for a conflict that would last over two decades and impact millions. With the stage set, the first act of this tragic play unfolded. The year was 1964, and an incident in the Gulf of Tonkin would mark a pivotal moment in the Vietnam War. Two U.S. naval destroyers reported being attacked by North Vietnamese naval vessels. Whether these attacks were provoked or even occurred at all has been a matter of historical debate. But at the time, the incident was used as a justification for direct U.S. military involvement in Vietnam. This led to Operation Rolling Thunder, an intensive bombing campaign that aimed to destroy the North's capacity to fight. For three long years, American aircraft bombarded North Vietnam with unprecedented intensity. The skies roared with the sounds of jet engines and the earth shook with the impact of countless bombs. This was no longer a remote conflict, but a full-scale war. The U.S. military strategy was one of attrition, aiming to wear down the enemy through constant pressure and high casualties. The idea was simple. If they could kill more enemy soldiers than the North could replace, the balance would eventually tip in their favor. But this approach underestimated the resilience of the North Vietnamese. Despite the overwhelming firepower of the U.S., the North refused to buckle. They endured the bombings, the losses, and continued to fight. As the war intensified, so did the voices of dissent. Back home in the US and around the world, people began to question the ethics of the conflict. Was this a just war, or was it a brutal exercise of power? The images and stories that trickled out of Vietnam painted a grim picture of destruction and suffering, igniting a firestorm of protest and debate. The war escalated, not only in Vietnam but echoing across the world as people began to question the ethics of the conflict. The stage was set for an even more dramatic act as the war took an unexpected turn in the coming years. As the war dragged on, a surprise attack changed the course of the conflict. In the early hours of January 30, 1968, during the Lunar New Year, or Tet as it's known in Vietnam, the Viet Cong and North Vietnamese forces launched a series of coordinated surprise attacks across South Vietnam. This came to be known as the Tet Offensive. The Tet Offensive was a bold gamble by the North. They hoped to spark a general uprising among South Vietnam's population, aiming to overthrow the Southern government and end the war in one swift stroke. But it didn't quite go as planned. The South Vietnamese and their American allies were caught off guard, but they quickly regrouped and repelled the attacks. The expected uprising never materialized. However, the Tet Offensive's real impact was not on the battlefields of Vietnam, but thousands of miles away in the United States. The offensive shattered the U.S. government's claims of progress in the war. It exposed a credibility gap between official statements and the war's reality, leading many Americans to question whether the war could, or should, be won. The images and stories from the Tet Offensive broadcasted into living rooms across America, sparked widespread protests. The American public, already weary of the war, now saw it in a new, harsher light. They began to question the human and financial costs, the strategies, and even the moral underpinnings of the war. The Tet Offensive marked a significant turning point in American policy as well. Despite a military victory, the political and psychological losses were profound. The Johnson administration began to rethink its strategy, leading to a gradual de-escalation and ultimately, the withdrawal of American troops from Vietnam. The Tet Offensive didn't just change the battlefield, it changed the hearts and minds of those at home. This shift in public sentiment was a pivotal moment in the Vietnam War, a reminder that wars are not just won or lost on the battlefield, but also in the court of public opinion. Every war must end, and so too did the Vietnam War, but not without leaving its mark. 
In the early 70s, the tides of the war began to turn. The Paris Peace Accords of 1973 marked a pivotal moment in the Vietnam War. These accords led to a ceasefire and, most notably, the withdrawal of U.S. troops. The once invincible-seeming American military machine was retreating, leaving behind a country scarred by years of relentless conflict. Yet, the ceasefire was short-lived. The absence of American forces paved the way for North Vietnam to press on with its ambitions. In 1975, the world watched in shock as Saigon, the capital of South Vietnam, fell to the North Vietnamese forces. This moment marked the end of the Vietnam War and the victory of North Vietnam. But every war comes with an aftermath. The fall of Saigon led to the unification of Vietnam under communist rule, a development that sent ripples across the global political landscape. For the Vietnamese people, the end of the war did not mean the end of suffering. The country was left in ruins, its economy in shambles. The scars of war were not only physical but also psychological, as the people grappled with the trauma of a brutal conflict that had lasted for more than a decade. Halfway across the world, the United States was grappling with its own aftermath. The Vietnam War had divided the nation like no other conflict in its history. It had challenged the nation's faith in its government, its military, and its role on the global stage. The Vietnam War, a conflict marked by its brutality and divisiveness, left a legacy that still resonates today. The echoes of this war continue to reverberate, serving as a stark reminder of the devastating costs of conflict and the enduring resilience of the human spirit.